folks welcome to mad cardigan we're going to start a new very 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 long playthrough we're going to call this one uh, starfield clear the galaxy now uh this i've already made the character here uh giving him the traits uh giving him the background um Let's see, we're going to be a soldier. Uh, boost pack training is really important. Ballistic, if you're going to use guns, that's really important. Fitness is just overall pretty good. Um, as far as the alien DNA, uh, taskmaster and wanted, these are three traits um, that they're pretty beneficial. Uh, the alien DNA, you know, I was uh, experimenting in my younger years, you know, and got a little alien DNA in me, so... Uh, let's go ahead and give him a name. Uh, and then the other skills, the taskmaster, uh, just makes your, your crew better and, uh, wanted, uh, makes you tougher as you get weaker, but it sends a couple of, uh, like bounty hunters after you, obviously, because you're wanted, they're usually not that, that big a deal to deal with. So, um, Former those are three good skills to have how to get the job done. Well, you got the sample. Clients Let's go ahead and start listening to this lady ramble on. You remember anything that happened? So pretty much the story up to now, if you've never played Starfield, is um, you're a miner. Uh, you're down mining, as miners do, and Easy you picked there, up a weird life. rock Probably and had a vision and passed out. In when you passed out. It was like a galactic vision. Don't go you having got star felt, okay? Star felt You'll up or whatever. And then you wake up, do your character we creator, and you All talk to this nice lady and thing. this goofy guy right here. Sure don't look like much. She's like your boss, Never like your mind mining what boss. It looks like. It's worth more than Poor this woman. mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak and of the thus devil. the story begins. The character the guy I created, is, as usual, gray hair, beard, based on... As close as I can get to me, which is not really close at all. <laughs> this guy's way too, way too thin and athletic to be me. On approach. Wait, uh, he's got blued out eyes, or, or whited out eyes. Let's go. Uh, I they were kind because of a joke. you know you're going to be a, a joke. basically you're a galactic superhero because this is a Bethesda game, hey, so I'm you're going to be a superhero. Got a reputation. So I make this Hell, guy look like some kind of galactic weirdo. Crazy half tattoo all up his neck and his face, and his eyes are crazy white, and he's all wrinkled and weathered like he's been, you know, exploring space out on a ship or out on a, out on a, the space we've already got a voyage, you know enough. what I mean? So. Not to them, apparently. Let's go ahead and take a walk. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Uh, it's kind of Put the tutorial-ish area. You know, they're showing you how to do all the stuff. It's a nice little character screen. This is your inventory. They're trying to tell you, don't walk out into hostile environments without your helmet on, which is always good advice. Uh, this is a Bethesda game, the newest Bethesda game, and so it's like uh, obviously very loot heavy. Uh, I am playing with a, a few mods, uh, quality of life stuff. I'll kind of explain as we go as I'm remembering them. Um, nothing that's like giving me extra um, skill points or anything like that. Um, actually, I'm, I've crippled myself uh, getting some experience because in the settings when you make things a little bit easier on yourself uh, it nerfs the experience gain which is fair so let's grab a gun they just leave this thing lying around of course. but yeah you can see my carry weight at the bottom is like 1100 you know this game can be a very back and forth running to vendors and you know collecting stuff and having to drop it off and, you know, just to make the game flow a little bit better you know, I'm trying to use mods that are just quality of life stuff more than anything else so bear with me try not to to cheat it up too much but uh, I want this to be enjoyable for you guys since we're gonna be together for a long time so Let's test out the camera angles. Got a nice third person. Who's this gentleman with a big blue dot hovering over his head? Barrett? Just saunters up. Man! Lynn! Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal. 
Hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That's that the rock right. that you picked up that made you pass and out? everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, Cowboy? Singing show tunes. Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Spirit, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I Rup -rup. really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? That's the Crimson Fleet! Weapons! Everybody get ready! Crimson Fleet, okay. Good old pirates. Obviously someone else is interested in my rock. Okay, everybody's gonna fight them with their mining tools. I have a gun. Let's just sneak up here. Oh, damn. Draw bridge open real quick. Bay door. I'm gonna show you some uh, fantastic skill combat. See that? And I'm hung up on the environment. Yep. That figures. That guy's the he ain't even bothering with me. He's like, you're an idiot. You're no threat. He has no idea. Look at that. Look at that. Ships even. Look at that. Hung up on that. Yep. Skill unmatched. Thankfully, they gave me a lot of bullets. Come on. Come on. Come on. Those guys are more dangerous with the, the mining equipment than I am with a gun. Yeah, cover. Don't shoot me. Okay. Oh, they got the same disease Bear has. They got their little blue things over their heads, too. Catch them. Blow up. Yep. Always shoot the red barrels. Gamer, you know that rule. Cluster of them. Give me a grenade yet. I killed all the miners too, probably. Did you see Lynn? All right. Yeah, you're all welcome. Like it was nothing. Okay, now this fancy little uh, loot mod that I have here, for whatever reason, this game doesn't allow you to strip the um, characters like other Bethesda games, which was odd, I thought, when they did it. Uh, this mod allows you to strip. Takes all the stuff that you can see, you can get it, you know, because it had all these cool spacesuits and all this kind of stuff, and you couldn't loot the stuff. It's just all you could get was their gun and their, you know, gun and their ammo, which is bullshit. You know, it's like that gear they're wearing is worth more money to vendors than most of the guns in here, so... And it gives you a this nifty little uh, take all okay. button, which is also pretty cool. Hey, you get any good hits in? Not every day we get so to cut anything. So this is to streamline the game. Just grab a bunch of gear, of and I'll have to wait bold. around and, and sift every through all that shit. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think oh yes, I am leaving. I can't the mess you do this caused? game sitting here mining the whole all time. Right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay? Although there and are I games out there now that would completely place. base it on this. Uh, 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 so, you I know, know, just I know, but mine. he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. <laughs> it's like the the what Soon is it, the power washing simulator? Rock, it's fantastic. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. I require a little more a story, a little more Get excitement, here, Dusty. bloodshed, sex, all bigger that. Things. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. You're well, a hell of a boss for 30 seconds, Lynn. Vasco, 
Get him to the all his patches. No this deviation guy's around. Is absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Uh oh, sounds like oh, I'm hey, gonna set take up. This. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Ooh, a Rolex. Probably Timex. You cheap son of a bitch. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? No. I will not slog us down with going through an entire line of dialogue. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. Believe me, there's nothing of any consequence that we won't find out together as we go along this playthrough. Right. Gave you your first starter ship, which is pretty cool. Most ships have a little med box here that you can loot. The Frontier. Very Star Trek. -y. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As oh, I do. Likes to say, Did you pick? Those are lock picks. They work on both locks and computers. So they're Just kind of all purpose, which is pretty cool. You got your bed. Yeah, okay, you got your standard um, well rested perk for sleeping for an hour. Uh, because we're going to be dealing with an entire galaxy, different planets, um, all time is different. So, like, if you sleep an hour on this planet, it might uh, pass two hours of actual time. Uh, on a different planet, it might pass 20 hours of time. So it, it's kind of wild. There's a lot of uh, videos out there that will tell you how to take advantage of time. We won't be doing anything that complicated, you know, mostly because my brain can't handle it. Now, clear the galaxy. You know, we will uh, we will visit every planet. We will completely um, clear the, the entire star map, star field, whatever you want to call it. That's the point of this playthrough. So sit back. Could be hundreds of episodes. Who knows? Go through my inventory here. Make sure I got the... I usually just go for the damage rating. It's the easiest thing to do. Normally you wouldn't have all these pirate um, gear things because it wouldn't let you loot that stuff without that mod. So I thought that's pretty neat. Got a new machine gun. Maelstrom. Which I believe means storm, I think. In some language over my head. The rest is up to you. Okay. The ships, I think, in this are one of the stronger points when you get into shipbuilding. I really like the shipbuilding. I'm not a huge settlement builder. Uh, if you watch my Fallout uh, 4 playthrough, they're, they're heavy settlement builders. I'm just. I don't know if I don't have the creativity or the patience, but building the ships, I thought, was really neat. Obviously, it's because every piece has a has a function. You know, it it, it has higher and lower levels. You can make yourself stronger, faster, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Orbit, it might be wise to test okay, Vasco. Controls and systems to Vasco de Gama. On the verge of catastrophic failure. I want to put you through a tutorial of uh, how to fly the ship. It's not a complicated process, which I really enjoyed. When I first saw this, I was like, wow, there's a lot of crap going on. I, I thought that you would actually have to deal with your, um, not just the HUD, but with the controls in front of you. And it looks very complicated, but all you have to do is the HUD. So the bottom left, you got your, on the uh, laser ballistic missile, uh, basically all the little, little ticks or pixels in there are the amount of uh, energy you put into them. And it's all tied to the reactor in your ship. So you can take some power out of one thing and put it more into another. You know, if you want more speed or more fighting or more shields. So we get our first little taste of combat. It's pretty standard. Everybody's got shields. Or most people got shields, I guess. Uh, lasers are good for shields. Ballistics are good for... Um, of the armor, the second one. We've got locks for missiles. Um, if you get locked on by a missile, you have a boost. You just click on the left stick on a controller, um, and it will break a, a missile lock. So handy to know. Uh, anyway, in the bottom left, the uh, you have the laser, ballistic, and missile. And on the right side, you have your engines, shields, and grabs. Grab is the ability to jump. You have to have grab drive, but if you don't have any power into it 
then you can't um, jump from system to system, I guess. Picking up some space junk. You can get repair parts. And in the bottom right, you got your hull. Uh, the 100 is your shields, and then the bar on the bottom is your hull. When that hull goes away. You are fucked. Nice little planet. Visually, this game, awesome, I think. A lot of haters out there, but Bethesda games are what they are. A lot of times they're glitchy messes. They're not what you expect, but I like the fact that you can make them as easy or as hard as you want. And you guys know if you watch my other playthroughs, I am not interested in torturing myself and playing a game where you have to grind through or fight an enemy 50 times to learn all their patterns. I play this game to be a superhero in Bethesda, which means I've played an appropriate uh, difficulty for my skill level, which is low. And I will adjust it. If it gets to a ridiculously easy or hard level, I have no problem adjusting skill in the middle of it to make it flow a little bit better. Like, I don't want to sit there and waste entire magazines to kill one guy, but I also don't want to just, you know, one body shot kills everybody. The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to oh, that's great. Barrett gives me a ship, fleet captain, a tells the robot to Project Indigo my ass, which is, I would guess, take me straight to where I'm supposed to go and don't deviate. And the first thing Vasco does is send me hunting pirates. Sounds like a setup. So once you learn the menu system, it's pretty intuitive, you know, uh, setting course. You know, you have to jump between systems, you have to jump to planets, uh, very nice solar systems and stuff. And you can either one button push to go where you need to go, if possible, if you have enough grab drive and all that. Uh, just set course X in the bottom right, or you can go through the entire star map zooming in and out and all that kind of stuff. So if you just set course and you're able to go, it'll just say travel, hold the X and boom. Now I have my grab drive powered up. That's the only reason I'm able to do this. If, if, if it wasn't powered up, it wouldn't be able to, to do this. So we have arrived Straight to Crete. in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. You don't even know me. Just slap a gun in my hand and let's go take out a pirate base. Typical Bethesda. Thou shalt get sidetracked. Alright. I'm playing this on the, the, the latest Xbox. I don't know, what is it? Series X or S or whatever the hell it is. So hopefully these load screens won't take too terribly long. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. That's comforting. Robot. Danger Will Robinson. I don't know if old enough to remember Lost in Space. I think they've redone it many times, but... do 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 Facility is in this okay, direction. Got your nice little scanner here. Every planet has unique plant and animal life that you can scan, and there's all different ways of you know of exploration in this game. Uh, you can be a straight up scientist, just go to planets and figure out what's on them. It's it's pretty in depth. Uh, lots of minerals, uh, minerals, plants, and animals that you can get. Got a be careful, nasty looking, yeah, I'm Alien not even creatures with are often unpredictable. I rarely mess with the uh, the alien life. I'm not a not a scientist, a warrior, a bad one, but I still am one. Okay, you see these arrows on the ground? The time you pull up your scanner and you have a clear designated endpoint, it will give you a handy dandy little go that way. This plant that'd be a hell of a house plant. 
Okay. Scenic spot here for a, a lab. Federation of smaller independent pirate crews, all flying under the same banner. They are know. typically unscrupulous Old pirate and organization. Violent. All right, pirates, you're about to get star felt. Okay, we'll try to so I've set the settings on this game. I don't want to blare anybody out or whatever, you know, wash them out, but I want you all to be able to see everything, you know, while also maintaining a little bit of stealth. So I use my flashlight when I can, but uh, won't be able to use it all the time. So there's a lot of caves in this game. I mean, it's Bethesda. It's going to have dungeons, you know. So, we'll make do. Lab, Yzma secret lab. UC facility. Okay, what are they secreting here? Okay, this is Bethesda, so the loot monsters are out. This entire game is just filled with. You can pick up everything, and most of it is not worth picking up, which is so funny. The amount of time they waste on useless items to pick up is amazing. Always digipix, always little cred sticks, that's like money. Money is very important in this game, obviously, for uh, building ships. That's the biggest thing I use it for, like buying those fancy ship parts. Okay, very pretty. Good lighting, nice, nice. I'm not going to go through every container. Uh, we will get a lot of... Uh, I'll check most bodies. Bodies are going to provide us with the loot which provides us with the most money so if it's an obvious container then I will do my best to get most of them I'm not going to search completely through entire rooms and bog us down let's get some fighting I can hear people talking Hilarious. Yeah. Alright, pirates. Oh, star felt him. How did that star feel? Oh, you got love axes. Get out of my way. Do your job, Dagama. I am hit. You, know, you are worthless. Vasco's not a great follower. <laughs> now he's trying to hide. Where the hell is that guy? This gun's pretty pretty handleable. I don't normally use the auto. Yeah, over your own survival. Being, um, fully auto. Not because of a lack of ammo. It's just I'm more of a, a semi-auto guy. You know, a hard hit, single hit. Because uh, for one, full auto weapons usually are all over the place and my aim is not stellar and uh, you know it's a, it can be an ammo issue as well this game is pretty pretty generous with the ammo and once you get uh, some guns which are fully upgradable you know it's Bethesda you're gonna be able to do a lot of crafting uh, you get kinda you know sucked into one one or two guns that you really really like but you'll see as we go along We'll have to decide as we go, you know, how you want to spend your skill points because, it's, you know, like all these games, you you put it in combat, you put it in crafting, you know, you put it in your, your health, so. I assure you, you will make good informed decisions. You don't care about food. You can play this game very hardcore where you have to eat, drink, and all that, but that's just another bogged down mechanic that it can be fun, but not when I'm trying to make a video for people to enjoy. 
Okay, so DigiPick, and they're trying to teach you how to uh, pick locks in this. And it's it looks very complicated, and it can be a pain in the butt, but it's pretty much just using this the DigiPicks on the right. They give you a certain amount of them, and you have to use them appropriately to fit all the holes. That's what she said. So, if you, I mean, some fit, and they fit incorrectly, or they fit, but you should have used them somewhere else. So the harder the lock, the more holes you got to fill. Ooh, there's Rapid Eon. Okay. Got me a purple right off the bat. Not bad. There's also loot variants. You know, you have the, uh, the grays, uh, purples. Uh, I believe there's blue under, under purples. So I kind of jumped a level. And then there's the yellows, which are the, the legendaries. Uh, they all have these... Um, extra effects you know they're the more colorful the better they are so save your resources to upgrade until you get a good you know at least a purple maybe a yellow before you start spending resources on them because a lot of the uh, the upper um, upper echelon what was that no uh, upper echelon upgrades are you know they're not very common materials. They're not impossible to get, but they can be expensive, they can be hard to find. Now they want to show you how to throw a grenade. So, see, ammo's, ammo's pretty prevalent around here. Get our grenades. Got your handy dandy little favorite bar. Don't have a throwing arc yet, but I can eyeball this. We one. must defeat them. <laughs> yes, we must. All nearby enemies. Oop. Piss somebody off. Okay, got your little handy dandy mini map. I like the the mini map with the the indicators in the, the bottom left. The the red dot, I thought it was a pretty efficient use of. They don't give you the up and down, the elevation, which is kind of kind of shitty, but uh, it's it's doable. And there is a lot of verticality in some of these dungeons, so. signs of life in the area. Okay, you unlock the ability to upgrade skills by uh, use, kind of like uh, Skyrim was. You know, it was you want to do destructive magic or you want to upgrade it you better use it so if you want to get better skills and ballistic weapons you better use a ballistic weapon these are weapon cases always check in these solstice I'm not a huge energy weapon guy um, uh, I I always shy away from that and it's unfortunate uh, mostly because there are no I'm so used to it because there are no uh, suppressors and I like uh, stealth mechanics, but in this game, they actually have stealth lasers, which is pretty cool. But I'm a, a, an actual old soldier, so you know I'm a veteran, and I'm just I like ballistic stuff. You know, I don't I don't know if that's a weirdness or if that's totally normal. <laughs> I'm not a gun nut, you know, or anything like that. But I, I like the I like the pow instead of the the, the lasers. So. Take it for what it is. Ooh, there's a blue. Okay. Okay, it's the same gun I was or I had, and it's got some extra shit on it. So, yep, I'll take it. And there are quite a few mods you can put on these guns. So, finding some that are already upgraded is a it's a, it's a boon boost. Got to find faster stealthing walks. <laughs> it's one of my favorite armors in Fallout 4 is those leg pieces that up your percentage of speed while you're sneaking. They saw me pretty quick. Uh, 
Oops, now okay, see? Couldn't tell by my indicator where he was until you, until you saw him, that he's up a level. Can't he lower himself to my level, which you should never do. All I got, machine gun and a robot. Oh yeah. Chronic overloading. I will always do this at inappropriate times. I really love this mod, this uh, this strip mod. Really, really speeds up the game as far as looting goes. And in this game, you can literally, especially with this mod, but even without it, um, if you upgrade your, your merchant skill at all, you can make all the money you need just from looting the corpses. Just the weapons and stuff are, are the most valuable things. Anything interesting? You always can tell the containers. Gun cases always go for, and they have actual loot chests. They have giant chests, so. I can't remember. Is there anyone else up here? No, I think we're getting into the story of the why this secret facility is now deserted. Give you one guess. Or I can give you as many guesses as you want. This guy, Hayden Wynn, is going to tell us. Get up here, red stick. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When we tried to sync that with the neural bad. control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even Killed sure him in one fell. minute. It took off deeper into the facility. Let me add a, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing oh he's boy, to xenobiologist. Like I've wanted. seen the alien movies. I know what all this crap is about. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We always think we, we can control these damn whatever things. Whatever is inside, provided oh, you had some digitics and a disregard for personal property rights. I have a total disregard for that. We're dead. Okay, continue, Doctor Wynn. We're all dead. No, we're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. Generally, in these, you, you grab the the, the pick with the most uh, prongs on it. So grab the threes and the fours, and see if they fit first. You know, normally, that's how I do it anyway. So you put them in there, and then you look, and you see, okay, if I put that, will there is there another one that kind of fits? And there was. So you take the three, and you do it first, and then there you go. See. Make it look so easy. It's because I'm fucking brilliant. I'm not brilliant. You wait till I try to do an advanced. Or God forbid an expert or a master. We'll be here all damn day. And I'm not going to bog down in, in hard locks. I may even mod to, to get past that shit. I think if you if you have the skill for it and you get tired of that mini game, just open the damn thing, you know. Okay, this is one of the, the goofy chests that you can get stuff out of. You can't loot all on these, unfortunately. So, Okay, got a double barrel shotgun with extended mag, which means it's a quadruple barrel shotgun. Which is good for that damage. That's a lot of damage. We're in early game. Oop, I'm out of grenades. Okay. So, let's go talk to this guy. It's possible I think you can talk past this boss. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier Say the speech has a new game, captain. Which I will probably fail horribly. You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Nope, he gave it to me. 
Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is partially correct. The Frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what <laughs> kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Okay, so you can try the Persuade. This will take you to the speech minigame. Cut your losses before I have to kill You're you guys. You're not talking us out of this score. Okay, then it explains it. So, you got Persuasion at the bottom left. You got three turns to get this done, and there's four ticks you have to go. So, obviously, green's easy. Yellow, maybe. I failed the Your first one. Okay. Loaded, so, now I got two turns left it. to get four ticks. So, how do you do this? I'm getting that ship. Ooh, Stop this trying is not to looking confuse good. me. One turn left. I got to get at least four. Yeah. Not yeah, this guy just wasn't hearing one. it. Yeah, with a mask I've like heard that, enough what can you expect? This guy Kill wants them. a fight. All right, bitches. Oh, my stellar army. Gonna get killed, probably. Okay, we're going up. Always getting elevation on them. Over here, looks like we're more flying in. Oh, while I'm up here, I'm all loot. Vasco, can you take care of them, please? Rendell, it's another kind of machine gun. Assault rifle. Okay. Peace so. is no longer a viable option. Peace is no longer a viable option. See this guy's you got the white, which is their armor, I believe. Or no, white is their actual life. But like bosses, you have to whittle down their life bar and then they get another life bar and they get another life bar if they have the rib I don't know if you understood that or not. Level up. Y'all just got star felt. Blowing through ammo here. Uh, can you not take cover? I have a hard enough time. When you guys set out to do this guy trying to crawl away. Almost missed him too. Headshot. Oh, keep it, keep it. Anyway. Okay, so you can either stay and deal with these pirates, or you can go ahead and, and run off. You know, if you're a big looter and you want to just search this whole area, I'm sure there's something very interesting here, which I am completely missing. But we shall forego that to get the hell out of here. So you can also look at things, places you've been, obviously we've been to our ship, and you can fast travel that way, which is also another nifty little mechanic. Captain, to reach the lodge, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system, and okay. then land in the city of New Atlantis. Can do, buddy. Goofy audio there. Frontier. This is United Colonies. Everybody loves scanning you in this. It's like the TSA. To be I'm not Scan sure I'm not complete. bringing in any no illegal fruits or vegetables, probably. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Thank you. Get a little view of your ship. You can you know, look around it. Once you start building these things, you can take some pride in that stuff. You, know, you can get very creative building these ships. Okay, you can scan planets. You can upgrade this ability. It shows you the minerals uh, that you can get off of them. Minerals are a big part of crafting. So, fortunately, they are all buyable. <laughs> just don't want to sit there, try to uh, mine every single thing you can. Just make it as hard as you possibly can for yourself, I guess. If you want to mine all your all your materials. New Atlant kind of reminds me of the tower from uh, Destiny. Very shiny. 
the Amish very clean area. I think I would have liked a little more grungy. I mean, there is kind of an underbelly to this place to be a little grungier, but even that's clean, so. Okay, so you can actually, you can get up, walk around your own ship, and take the hard way out, or it gives you a quick get out of the ship button. And now, here we are, New Atlantis. This is going to be your main hub. And since we are here in this lovely, lovely place, I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's call it a part here. This seems like a good stopping point before we go and meet the lodge. So, thank you all so much for joining me in this, what is going to be an extremely long playthrough of Starfield Clear the Galaxy. It's Mad Cardigan, and we will see you in the next one.